Hey guys, Miss Nicole here for another Species Spotlight. This week, we're highlighting the famous Key West chickens, also known as the Kubalea. So here in the garden, we can see some of the roosters. And we know that they're roosters because of their coloration. So they have the very dark, deep colors, such as the red and the blue and the orange. And they also have what we call a lobster tail. So it's called a lobster tail because it almost looks like the tail of a lobster because it kind of hangs downward. Right now that they're up and walking, their tail is up, but it will go down. Now, we know they're a rooster, which are male, because of their looks. We can tell the difference between male and female because the females, known as hens, have what they call a cinnamon coloration and they don't have that distinct lobster tail. If you look on the tops of their heads, they have what's called a pea comb, and it's that red stuff on the top of their head kind of sticking up, that's their pea comb. And then they also have what we call wattles, which hang down from their beak, and those are both the same type of um, fleshy skin. These guys are invasive. They're not supposed to be here. So in our garden, we don't really welcome them, but they do forage around eating insects. As you can see right now, they're digging in the ground, foraging through the leaf litter. They're eating insects, plants, seeds, and bugs. And what's interesting is how they got here. So they're not from here. They are Cuban roosters, so they are from Cuba. And they are a combination of an oriental chicken and a different type of land fowl. And they crossbred these chickens because they create great meat, eggs, and they were good fighters. So back in the day, there was Key West chicken fighting. In 1970, that became completely illegal. So what happened was a lot of people released their chickens that they used for fighting and they began to populate because here we have a no kill in our island. So the chickens just populated and reproduced and that's why they're here and they're very invasive to our island because they can eat our native lizards and insects and some of our native plants as well. They're also known as the Key West Gypsy Chickens. So that's a little something interesting about our species spotlight this week. Hope you learned a lot about these chickens. See you next time.